Hey Libras, this is an X reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. To see if it's likely that you and your ex will come back together. This reading is not going to resonate for everyone. It is a general reading. If it does, that's wonderful. If there are thousands of people that watch the videos, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, please check out the website at pinkarianjim.com. If for some reason there's a glitch, you guys are welcome to email me, okay? Let's see. What do we have going on for Libra? The 13th through the 19th. Libra in love. What's going on with Libra in your ex? You guys, if you like the video, please hit the like button, share it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would be wonderful. All right, guys, one more shuffle. Overall energy. Ooh, look at that. Two of cups. Mutual soulmate love. Undeniable love that's shared between two people. So, I feel like a lot of you have either just met somebody else, somebody new, even though the Ace of Cups is not here, um, or either this is somebody from the past who you are rekindling with here in the Two of Cups. This is unmistakable. And this is after after being in your head for so long, probably thinking that you wouldn't find love again. But you realize at this point that, yeah, there's better out there. So you want to start new here. Okay. You have the five of wands. You're conflicted over this. And so I'm just getting a sense from this card that this is somebody from the past because you had experiences with this person where you were trying to get your point across, um, how you felt about things. Um, there probably was a power struggle between the two of you. They have the lovers. This is somebody from, this is somebody from your past. This is somebody that, um, that you had a passionate relationship here with. Very attracted to this person. <clears throat> and you have fire energy over here. This is Gemini energy. Very passionate love affair here with this person in the lover's card. What you want is a queen of swords. To be able to stand your ground. You know, let your, let your views be known. Let how you feel be known. You know, not hide it. Be comfortable with it. Not walk on eggshells here. This is you all day long, Libra, Queen of Swords. They come as a devil. Somebody is somebody is um because this is this is sexual attraction as well. Almost to the point of being obsessed with the person. So you have somebody here that obsessively thinks about you. Not saying they are obsessed with you, but um, there's a very strong, strong attraction here. Very strong attraction here. You have the Six of Coins for what you need. This is being able to um, work with somebody, to have a mutual respect for each other in a relationship. This is tangible as well, so it makes me feel like you're a very giving person. So this is also, you know, recognizing when somebody is not giving as much as you are and when to release that, okay? The six points. What they need is a page of wands. 
this is to go slow, I feel like. This is not to come at you um, with this excessive, uh, obsessive, and excessive energy. This is taking things slow and, you know, building and not rushing into to things. There's a lot of passion here that this person feels for you. It, it feels very, very carnal, very sexual energy with this person. Now, I say that, but there, there again, you know, the two of cups is, is under the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. So there is love between the two of you if you feel like that this person is more sexually attracted to you they are very sexually attracted to you but there's also love there as well okay is there someone else involved eight of coins i don't think so i think this is more about you just working this is also Virgo energy, Sun and Virgo, okay? And depending on whether where some of your birthdays fall in Vedic astrology, some of you are Virgos, okay? In Western astrology, if you're on the cusp, you know, you could be a Virgo there as well. So I think this is more about you working and just concentrating on building your um, your tangible lifestyle, building things up for your family, um, especially if you're a single parent here. Anyone involved? I feel like they're juggling. I feel like this person, um, this person, is somebody that needs somebody on their arm um, and not necessarily as a, a girlfriend or, or a boyfriend, so to speak, but somebody that they are, you know, engaging with. Like they need attention, intimate attention, I feel like. But they're they're confused. I feel like there's a level of confusion here, um, because I feel like this person deep down inside they want a committed relationship. Because the eight to the two of Pentacles is the ten of Pentacles, and that's a solid, um, tangible foundation. A familial foundation a strong solid relationship you know not just with one person but with you know either two people a group of people so they want something solid something stable something grounded okay I think they have they their idea on on love is like it's kind of off a little bit I feel is this likely that you guys will come back together? I feel that this is a knight, so it's not a king. Um, you show up as a queen over here, so a knight is not going to be enough for you. You need a queen. I mean, you need a king or a queen, even. Um, that stable energy, not that in and out energy, not that, that overly aggressive energy here that, that I feel coming from this knight of cups. This person's going to come back, but I don't feel like you know, if they come back like this, laying beside this devil energy, um, that's not going to work for you. Okay? No, that's not going to work for you. You got your back turned to it and you got your sword raised. So, I don't think you're going to have it. Okay? So, Libra, that's what I have for you for the 13th through the 19th. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.